So there's too many Japanese snacks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do like snacks that you can have with tea. There's too many on here. So I'll see, I'll just see if I can pick and choose one and see how the picture goes. Maybe I'll need to um, uh, adjust the picture. But one thing we can do is there's a traditional uh, cracker called a senbei. So let's do this picture. There we go. There we go. We've got our senbei cracker. That's good enough. Yeah, so think of like a gingerbread cookie, but not so sweet. That's basically what it is. Um, and they, and it always comes with cute little designs on them. It's really, it's really, really, really cute. So this is senbei. This is a Japanese sweet. Something you'd usually eat uh, with tea or something like that. You see that? Yeah, a little matcha cake. And that's and it, what it is, is it's a cookie. It's a cookie made of green tea. Matcha green tea. And it's not sweet. It's actually a little bitter. A little bit, a little, little, tiny little bit bitter. But I love these. I love these. These are little teeny tiny little cookies. These are not big cookies. These are tiny little cookies. So you usually eat like two or three or seven or eight or I do. So green tea cookies. Actually, you shouldn't say green tea. You should just say matcha, matcha. So remember what I said about the Korean snacks, right? Um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is um, like that. This is basically what this is, but it's, but it's a made uh, usually to serve in like a tea shop or someplace like that. Yeah, these are pretty. These are pretty good. I like these. They're not. Remember, so they're, they're not French fries. These are sweet potato, and they're very, very sweet. And you can buy these anywhere in Kyoto. Um, they make very good gifts. So remember the, uh, what I told you about the um, the. Uh, I mean, okay, hold on. I want to do a better. I want to do a better uh, uh, picture. I want to give you a better picture of this. Yeah, more, more picture, more picture. Does that, is that, is that a word? Do you, do you say that, more picture? Is that real? I don't know. So remember what I told you about the Taiwanese snack that is just like a jelly, like a jelly snack? That's what these are. And these are not, they're sweet. They're sweet. I mean, don't misunderstand me. These are sweet, but they're not like, overly sweet and not like sugar sweet they're like more like um a fruit sweet you know and if that makes any sense and you can't eat very many and you don't eat these with your hands that's another thing you don't eat these with your fingers you they give you like a little tiny 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 little fork like a little fork that you use to eat these you never touch these with your fingers and I can, and it, well, the matcha cookies, I can eat too many. But these, I can't eat very many. Actually, to be honest, I can really only eat just one. That's enough for me. Yeah, but these are pretty, these are pretty great. See, so they give you like this one, one like block. And then with these little forks, you, you eat little bits of pieces that you want to eat. Perfect. Ah, oh, look at me. Look at me. Perfect shot. Nice. Perfect shot. So these basically are crackers, but very, 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 very teeny tiny crackers. These are made of rice, but they all don't taste the same. They all have their own flavor. And these are all pretty good. I, I, I eat these by the handful, but they're really good. Like I said, they're not sweet. They look sweet, but they're not. But they're not exactly salty either. These are rice crackers, even though they're not really crackers. And the one that you see on the bottom um, is a rice cracker, but it's wrapped in this green stuff. That is seaweed. And I love it. I love seaweed. I love seaweed. Seaweed's so good. And again, 
You can get this in Kyoto. They're sold everywhere, everywhere in Kyoto. Man, these are great. Love it. Love it. Uh, okaki. That's what these are called. Okaki. Okaki. 